months. Now, Russ Handsomer reaching platinum status within eight months is a heavy blockbuster move by Russ. Russ being an independent artist that doesn't rely on major playlisting, invests his own money or whatever he needs to, and most importantly, doesn't make excuses as far as his numbers, money, fan base, release the music, do what you got to do, let the music do what it has to do, and watch what happens. Now, Handsomer initially releasing, I didn't get the song too much. But I get the traction, the amount of love. I still listened to it, eventually reviewed it. You could check that out in the podcast. Just scroll down, you'll eventually find it. And with some time, I'm like, all right, I, I could see, I could see why he's getting traction. I- I'm rocking with it a bit. Russ Handsomer, just to recap some of the songs, Russ is handsomer than most. He got more money than most. And the Santa females trying to fly to him. Whatever the case is, eventually he did an open verse challenge where various artists jumped on a certain segment of the track that they will rap on and potentially be the feature for the track. I stumbled upon a variety of those throughout the feeds. Eventually I saw the Caitlyn one. I didn't think she was going to win, but I'm like, this adds a nice element to it because originally having Russ be the handsomer, the male perspective in this track of, I got it all. Now flipping it to Caitlyn, where now, you know, instead of the side chick, it's the side dudes and she's giving them side boobs. If you've been, you've been listening to, um, if you caught the Handsome Remix review, y'all know my gripe with that bar just because I felt Caitlyn could have gone harder. But at the same time, side boob, that's the only crumb you're going to give. It works. It works. And this is important for anybody. If you're an artist, you could do this with no label. It's going to be a grind. It's going to be tough, but you could do it with no label and you could do the numbers too. It ain't impossible. And what I love about this, now we're in this time. So right there, just went over the Russ Handsomer topic. We're in this moment of artists blaming labels, streaming platforms, certain playlists for blackballing them. And to a certain extent, depending on the artist, there might even be a little bit of blackballing. A little bit. But at the end of the day, At the end of the day, you can't blame everybody else but your own music and your own fan base for your own performance. Young boys, somebody that we can understand for the most part, streaming platforms, labels, actual advertisement, we rarely get, we rarely see much of that. It's his hardcore fan base with the memes, with the legitimate music that is consistently dropping and the large fan base on YouTube that is writing for him, writing for young boy. And he's been able to overcome the quote unquote black ball of the industry. And really, what I really want to get into is I feel blackballing is just another word for my fan base ain't putting enough work. I don't know my fan base or I'm not getting the mainstream support I want. Unfortunately, if you want that, you're going to have to sign your life away. No, no masters, no nothing. 360 deal. If you're trying to see that kind of love or just be phenomenal artists. I'm not saying like, I'm not saying if you're not doing numbers, you're not for no phenomenal artists, but you know, I'm talking about the Post Malones, the Bad Bunnies, the Drakes that are just numbers are usually ridiculous no matter what, regardless of the quality. So blackballing, whether we're hearing it from the baby, whether we're hearing it from Tory Lanez, whether we're hearing it from anybody else, it's just a matter of you not understanding your fan base having unrealistic expectations for the numbers your music should be doing. And also being spoiled by the previous relationships you've had with certain platforms or playlists. Because Russ said this, Russ said this greatly. If you're relying on these playlists, well, let me, let me, let me slow down there. Russ, he, he did um, a little sarcastic jab at the whole blackballing thing. If my music's not on streaming platforms, I'm being blackballed. And what I got out of that is don't rely on playlists to build your fan base, to feed your fan base, and to feed your music. Because at the end of the day, somebody else putting you on the playlist. Like You're not in charge of that. You got to be in charge of your own thing. And this is coming from someone that I consume the music. So ultimately, most of the music I consume is not from the playlist. So for the people like me, we're not going to those playlists regardless. You got to earn us, earn our streams. I'm still listening to, for example, Alone at Prom. Every now and then I'll check out the baby's music just for the curiosity of it. More of a Tory fan with his music. And I'm not going to, or I'm not going to those playlists. I, I search on my own music or I create my own playlist. And before I get too lost in the sauce with this, blackballing, 
isn't really a thing. Unless these platforms are legitimately saying, hey, you cannot post your music on Spotify. You cannot post your music on Apple Music, Amazon. Y- y'all get a- the idea. You're not being blackballed. Tell your fans to A, go harder. B, build that relationship with them better because it-, it goes deeper than just, hey, stream my music more. Come on, I thought you guys enjoy my music. I thought y'all really appreciate you You're saying I'm the man with a million voices, whatever the case is. Don't, don't stress your fan base too much, but grow a relationship with your fans too. Something that I see with Russ that more artists could start doing is genuinely communicating with them. Not just doing an Instagram post when you need to promote a tour, a concert, a performance, but having times where it's like, here's some behind the scenes. Not because it's a hyped up single releasing, but because I wanted to show you the behind the scenes or some of the obstacles that were in my way before the song dropped. Some of my own money I had to put in to, you know, have this music video pushed out. By the way, Handsomer music video was pretty dope as well. So it was a bit, a bit of a mix between Russ Handsomer going platinum, blackballing, some of the complaints from whether it's Tory Lanez, the baby. In this discussion, bits and pieces, some gems in there if you're an artist or even if you're not an artist, seeing how people who you feel they got M's, right? They got millions, but still still be in this position of where they're stressed because corporations aren't behind them. Listen, it it don't matter what tax bracket. It don't matter how big an artist is. At the end of the day, you need a belief in your own community, in your own fan base to truly be at peace. That's the way I see it. Because you're not at peace with your fans. Ain't no amount of money going to help you. We're seeing this 